So this video is practice questions for the AP physics exam for the topic of thermodynamics and it can also be used as practice for the IB exam or the GCSE exam. So for the first question, a container holds a mixture of carbon dioxide and hydrogen in thermal equilibrium. So let Kc and Kh denote the average kinetic energy of a carbon dioxide molecule and a hydrogen molecule. And given that a molecule of CO2 has 22 times the mass of a molecule of hydrogen, then and the ratio of Kc over Kh is equal to and the answer is C. And this is because the average kinetic energy of a molecule of gas is directly proportional to the temperature of the sample. And the fact that the two gases are at the same temperature, since they are in the same container at thermal equilibrium, tells us that the molecules have the same average kinetic energy. And so the ratio of their kinetic energies is equal to 1. For the second question, if the temperature and volume of a sample of an ideal gas are both doubled, then the pressure and the answer is E remain unchanged. So using the ideal gas law, since both T and V are doubled, the ratio T over V remains unchanged, and so P also remains unchanged. For the third question, in three separate experiments, a gas is transformed from the initial state P initial V initial to the final state P final V final along the paths 1, 2, and 3. So the work done on the gas and the answer is A is greatest for the path 1. And the reason is that the work done on the gas during a thermodynamic process is equal to the area of the region in the PV diagram above the V-axis and below the path the system takes from the initial state to the final state. And since the area below path 1 is the greatest, then the work done on the gas during the transformation along path 1 is also the greatest. And for question 4, an ideal gas is compressed isothermally from 20 liters to 10 liters. During this process, 5 joules of work is done to compress the gas. What is the change of internal energy for this gas? So the answer is C, which is 0. And this is because for an isothermal change, the change in the internal energy is always 0. So for the fifth question, an ideal gas is confined to a container whose volume is fixed. If the container holds n moles of gas, by what factor would the pressure increase if the absolute temperature is increased by a factor of 2? And the answer is B, which is 2. And this is because the gas is confined, so the number of moles remains constant. And because we're told the volume is fixed, then the volume also remains constant. So using the ideal gas law, and since these values are constant, only the pressure and temperature are changing. Initially, it is P1, T1. So if the temperature is increased by a factor of 2, then we can write NR2, T1. And this is equal to 2, P1. So the pressure is also increased by a factor of 2. So for question 6, two large glass containers of equal volume each hold one mole of gas. Container 1 is filled with hydrogen gas with a molar mass of 2 grams per mole. And container 2 holds helium with a molar mass of 4 grams per mole. If the pressure of the gas in container 1 equals the pressure of the gas in container 2, which of the following is true? So A, the temperature of the gas in container 1 is lower than the temperature of the gas in container 2, or the temperature of the gas in container 1 is greater than the temperature of the gas in container 2. So if we use the ideal gas law, we can see that since both containers have the same volume, number of moles, and pressure, then they must have the same temperature. And so both A and B cannot be correct. And for C, the value of R for the gas in container 1 is half the value of R for the gas in container 2, and this cannot be correct because R is constant as it is the universal gas constant. And choices D and E are about the RMS speed of the gas molecules. So the kinetic theory of gases predicts that the RMS speed of the gas molecules in a sample of molar mass m and temperature T is given by this equation. So hydrogen has a smaller molar mass than helium, which means the RMS speed for hydrogen must be greater than that of helium because both samples have the same temperature. So container one is the one filled with hydrogen, so the answer is E. So for question 7, through a series of thermodynamic processes, the internal energy of a sample of confined gas is increased by 560 joules. So if the net amount of work done on the sample by its surroundings is 320 joules, how much heat was transferred between the gas and its environment? 
So the work done on the gas sample is designated as positive because the work done by the gas on the surrounding is negative. So using the first law of thermodynamics, which is the change in the internal energy of the gas is equal to the heat transferred to or from the gas plus the work done on or by the gas. So the work is plus 320 joules because it is work done on the sample. And the heat is given by the change in the internal energy minus the work done which is 560 joules minus 320 joules, which is equal to plus 240 joules. And the plus sign indicates that heat is transferred into the gas. And the answer is A. So for question 8, what's the total work performed on the gas as it's transformed from state A to state C along the path indicated? So as you can see, for the path A to B, no work is done because the volume is kept constant. And so the total work done from A to C is equal to the work done from B to C. And since the pressure remains constant from B to C, then the work done is given by this equation. And as you can see, the pressure along this path is given by this value. So minus 3 times 10 to the power 5 Pascal times 25 minus 10 times 10 to the minus 3 meter cube. And this gives the work of 4,500 joules. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.